welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com on this davinci resolve tutorial i'm going to show you how to sync your audio and video both manually and automatically and so the first way we're going to do this is through a manual method and so right here i have my video clip along with the audio that already came with the device and then secondly i have a separate audio file that i've cleaned up and so the first thing i'm going to do is drag my clip down to my timeline and as you can see here there's my video, but then there's the waveform for my audio. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag down my separate audio to its own audio track. And typically the way you do this manually is you would actually line up the audio waveforms. And then you would simply remove the previous audio and then just use this new audio. And so in this case, all I have to do is unlink these clips. So right now they are linked. So we'll go ahead and unlink them by using this. And now they aren't linked. And we're going to go ahead and select this clip. Go ahead and press backspace. It'll remove that one. And then we now have our new audio. Then you would press control, choose both clips, and then link them. And that's all you would really need to do to get it done manually. And some ways that you could make this better is to actually clap your hands at the beginning of your video. Or if you're more fancy, you could actually have a clapper board or slate which is what they use in Hollywood movies. So that makes it a lot easier for you to identify where your actual audio starts. So that's how you would do this manually. So let's go ahead and see how you could do this automatically. Now, if you wanted to automatically sync your audio and video, then DaVinci Resolve provides you with some great tools to do that. And I'm gonna go over two main ways that you could do this. And so the first way is gonna be within your edit page. So all you have to do is select your video clip and then the separate audio track and then you right click on your mouse, go down here to auto sync audio, and you'll see four options. Now, if you are working with time codes, you can use these options, but if not, you're gonna use the waveform options. And so the first way is based on waveform. So what that means is DaVinci Resolve is gonna compare the waveform of your audio clip and also the audio within your video clip, and then it's gonna replace the audio in the video clip with your separate audio track. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that first. And once that's done, Whenever you bring your video clip down to your timeline, it's going to automatically have the brand new separate audio track in your video. So that's a real super easy way to do that, and it's going to save you a lot of time. And so the second waveform syncing method will also keep the original audio track of your video clip as well. So let me show you how that looks like. Here we'll go down to auto sync audio, and we'll choose this option. And then whenever we bring our clip down to our timeline, it's gonna have the original audio clip and also the new audio clip. And the reason you might wanna do this is, say for example, you want to make sure that it synced things perfectly, then you still have the old audio file so then you can see it as a reference. And also, if you wanted to keep the old audio for whatever reason, you still have that option there. And then here you could do it just like you did in the manual method. You could simply unlink the clips right here, delete the clip that you don't want, or you could mute it or you could even delete this entire track if you want. And so that's how you would do this through the whole waveform methods in the edit page. And I think these are the easiest way to sync your audio. And DaVinci Resolve does a great job in matching these waveforms up. So now let's look at the final way to automatically sync your audio and video through the cut page. For fast website hosting and top-notch servers and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the final way we're gonna sync our audio and video clips is by using the cut page. So once you're here, go ahead and select your video and audio clip. And if you had more than two clips, go ahead and choose those. And then you're gonna come up here to sync clips. And what DaVinci Resolve has done here is it's treating this like a multi-camera setup. So your very first clip is called camera one and your audio track is called camera two. And then down here, you could sync it by either time code or audio and you can also choose the in and out points as well so we're going to go ahead and choose audio and then click on sync so now everything is synced and we'll go ahead and save our sync and you'll notice that there's now these sync symbols on our two clips we can now head over to our edit page and you'll notice there's a brand new file called media sync that's been created go ahead and drag this down to your timeline and what you see here is camera one for both the video clip and the audio track and if you select this and then right click on your mouse 
you see switch multicam clip angle and here you could choose between the original audio or audio 2 which is called camera 2 and that's it you could switch over to the original audio if you wanted to but if you notice it says camera 1 for the video but the audio is camera 2 which is exactly what we want so that's how you would actually sync up your audio video clips uh, both manually and also the two automatic ways you could do that either through the edit page or through the cut page so if you actually had any thoughts on how to sync up your audio video clips or maybe if you had any other ways in which you do this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you wanted to see more of my davinci resolve tutorial tips and tricks i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.